The FBI issued its warning of impending terrorism. I talked with Attorney General John Ashcroft at the Justice Department and asked what we should make of that FBI statement. Well, I think if you look at the environment, you have to conclude that we've recently started to respond militarily as well as in the comprehensive way the president's talked about. The onset of our response militarily, I think, uh, is part of uh, what uh, we would indicate to be a kind of time for heightened awareness because there have been a number of uh, uh, suggestions by people that uh, the terrorist network will not want us to have responded without some effort on their part to uh, additionally assert their uh, th their position. Sure, but I mean, uh, I think any 14-year-old would have been able to conclude that. Right. Well, uh, we, I, we go after them. They're probably going to try and come back after us. Chances are, since they, they planned everything as well as they did at the outset, and whatever else you may think of these people, they, they're smart. They're smart, and they did their job well. Terrible job, but they did it well. You have to assume that they are planning some kind of a follow-up. So what I'm asking you is, you have to worry about more than just, I mean, if, if somebody came into me and I was attorney general and they said, General, credible threat in the next few days, I'd say, what the hell are you talking about? What are they talking about? Well, I think we have to be on the alert. And uh, we also obviously get information from around the globe uh, that uh, we, we uh, evaluate and are concerned about. And we think that given the circumstance and the kind of environment we're in, that there is a a need to be especially alert. About, uh, this is going to be especially alert for the next few days. I think or just the next several days are, are obviously important, partially because of the environment in which we find ourselves in this post-response or initial response period, I should say. And uh, I, we obviously communicate with law enforcement officials around the country, with industrial security officials, and we're advising them to be on the highest yeah. alert. In the tension that naturally exists between frightening our citizens and keeping our citizens adequately informed of the nature of threats that are out there, where do you come down? Well, I think we have to ask people to be prepared, to be more alert, and frankly, people have been more alert. They've been telephoning the FBI in terms of our own tip line and our own website. We've had over 200,000 people contacted. And I think al we that's, want a, that's almost worse, though, than getting nothing, isn't it? I mean, if, you, if you're inundated with 200,000 tips, probably 199,900 of which don't amount to a whole hell of a lot, that takes up a lot of manpower, doesn't it? Well, you have to rank them and you have to evaluate them. We have a team that does that, a team that sorts them, a team that deals them out to the various parts of the country, for instance, uh, where the tip would be followed up to different aspects of our investigation. And they have to be prioritized, just like anything in life. You have to take the things that hold the most promise and follow them first. And it's a little bit like, I think, the insurance salesman. It's not how many no's you get, not how many bad leads you get, it's how many good leads you get. And we get some good leads and some valuable information. I'll have more with the Attorney General in just a few minutes, but first joining me here live, John Donvan, who has been tracking that FBI warning. And John, why do you think it was made and what do you think they expect people to do? Well, what was puzzling is soon after the statement was made by the FBI, FBI officials began telling reporters, listen, this is not that unusual because we've been giving warnings all uh, all month to law enforcement agencies. We just haven't been sharing them with the public. Well, it is different that this time they're sharing it with the public and they are saying something might happen within the next few days. Now, what it might be, they're actually saying that they don't know. It's not specific. But apparently they have, we're, we're, our sources have been telling ABC News and the New York Times is also going to report tomorrow morning that it is a foreign source providing some sort of information that something might happen. They're taking it seriously enough that they want to share it with the public. Do you have anything at all more on what other than just being on alert they expect the public to do? Well, it's interesting that they say specifically we want all people to immediately notify the FBI and local law enforcement of any unusual or suspicious activity. So maybe the reason they went to the public with this is just the fact that they would have all of those millions of eyes and ears keeping a watch. And another possibility is that if, God forbid, something happens again, 
the FBI would not be in the position of saying, we knew this, but we didn't warn you. And I think there's a great deal of concern about that. And, and, and in fact, President Bush said today, it will be a comfort, it is a comfort to Americans, this statement in itself, knowing that we are taking all of these threats seriously. Well, as we'll hear in a moment, uh, the Attorney General has some thoughts on how the FBI's role has to change when we come back. The Attorney General on what the President tonight called the need for the FBI to think differently. <laughs> 